Good morning. What a great channel this is, Sanity for Sweden, isn't it? Good news all through the week, almost, and still today, Friday. Good news Friday. It's amazing. Right, so first about this lawsuit. The, the state of Texas sued Pfizer, as you know, I think. Mainstream media is talking about it. I saw it in The Guardian, The Daily May, uh, Reuters, see? I thought they were not supposed to say anything bad about Big Pharma. But they talk about this lawsuit. And it's very, very good, you see, because those people who read the papers, they will read about this now. <laughs> uh, the Guardian, they say this. Uh, Texas lawsuit claims Pfizer exaggerated effectiveness of the tea. Uh, State Attorney General Ken Paxton filed suit despite medical consensus <laughs> that the tea prevents severe infection and death. Bad, bad Texas. You're filing a lawsuit. Still, we have this medical consensus. Oh, that is great. The lawsuit also added that the claims that the tea was 95% effective were not accurate. And that infection as well as death rates worsened as the tea became increasingly available. The suit also claims that Pfizer conspired to silence those who were critical of the tea. This is in The Guardian. The Daily Mail, they say, uh, Texas sues Pfizer for intentionally overstating the tea effectiveness. Yeah, I can just imagine this. You know. Norm is sitting there reading their newspapers and they see this and they talk to their wife or partner, you know, and they say there's something about the lawsuit here. They say it, it was overstated. 95% effectiveness, it was overstated, exaggerated. Hmm. And the other one says, well, yeah, I thought it was something, you know, see, I got the tea and then I got sick. And then I got sick again and then I took another needle and then I got sick and now I'm sick again, you know. I thought it was something about this effectiveness. I remember they said it. It was 95% effective. Well, I think it's great. Uh, here's another one. Uh, it's also a lawsuit. I thought this was funny. Pfizer and BioNTech, they are suing the Hungarian government. Because Hungary will not pay for these millions of doses. <laughs> right. It, the, word, the value is approximately 60 million euros. And Hungary says, no, we will not pay it. We don't want it, you see. <laughs> they, they said this earlier, Hungary said, in 2022, they said they will not have this, you know, they do not intend to either receive it or pay for these doses. They ordered them earlier, but now they will not, they don't want them, you see. <laughs> and they will not pay. So now Pfizer and BioNTech are suing Hungary. It's great. Here's another story. This is a, a friend of my girlfriend. She's a nurse, and she's uh, visiting old people, helping them, taking care of them, right? And she came to this 94-year-old lady. That friend of my girlfriend is a pure blood, by the way, right? So she came to this 94-year-old lady, and this lady said, you know, I never took the tea. And the nurse, my girlfriend's friend, said, Oh, wow, you didn't? No. The old lady said, 
I think it's bad for your blood. Isn't that fantastic? And then the old lady asked the friend, my girlfriend's friend, if she took it. And she said, no, I didn't. <laughs> so they were sort of bonding there. It was great. I also thought about siblings this morning. No, actually yesterday I thought about this. Siblings, you know, how competitive it can be between siblings, right? Maybe you got siblings now, brothers or sisters or both, who are not admitting that they were wrong about the tea. See? And I thought, you know, that would be awful if they would admit it, right? Because you would be up on them, wouldn't you? They would be inferior to you. If they admitted that you were right and they were wrong, you were not fooled. They were fooled. And they have to admit this. You would have an advantage, right? A mental advantage. Maybe this got something to do with it, see? So they hold on to this. Oh no, it was correct. I took the tea, I'm sick like crazy. It didn't work as well as I thought, but it stopped me from getting seriously ill at least. And I'm still alive, you know. So it's a good thing. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, I wish you a great weekend. Be good.